I've had a lot of people say, Emberado, hey, Grandpa, what's for breakfast? Well, let's see. Let's start off with here. Pot of Irish coffee. No, artificially flavored. And this morning we're having simple plain oats, which will be sweetened with artificial sweeteners. And then comes the treat of breakfast this day. Uh, just a minute. Get that bag off so we can see what's inside. We're having jumbo blackberries in the oats this day. So, Grandpa, that's what's for breakfast. <laughs> well, good morning, my YouTubian friends. Don't mind me, I'm just sitting here having my breakfast. A pot of oatmeal. And a pot of hot java. I thought I'd share a little thought with you folks. I see everybody buying charred bank line all the time. Everybody's got it, everybody's using it. Uh... Right now, I'm a little hurt for cash, so I can't afford to go buying a spool of bank line. I know you're going to say, Emberato, it's only $15. Well, yeah, 15 to 18 depending on what you're buying, for a one-pound spool of tarred bank line. Well, I, got a, I picked up a different kind of line. This is, believe it or not, the equivalent of one half pound of tarred bank line as far as length of cordage. This is number 18 nylon cordage. I picked this up at a local brick and mortar. As I say, this lengthwise, this is the equivalent of one half spool of tarred bank line in the same weight, 18. I paid less than one quarter of what a half pound spool of card bank line will cost you. Uh, most places online that offer a half pound, it's like nine to ten to twelve dollars for a half pound spool. I gave three dollars. This is the exact same cordage with one exception, no tar. <clears throat> this particular spool has another advantage. This neon pink color uh, shows up in my headlamp real good at nighttime. So when I have to run a um, guy line with this stuff, I don't have to worry about hanging myself on it like I would with tarred bank line. So not everything is uh, candy and soda when it comes to tarred bank line. This is the point of this video. You have to consider what your use for the cordage is and how much you're willing to pay for the cordage before you buy it. Let me give you a for instance. I'm using it as a uh, lanyard for my seven in one tool here. I'm using it as a lanyard for my Silcock key here. I've also been using it as guy lines for my uh, water collection system that I showed you for, for rain collection. I'm using it as a guy line right there. I've got a small tarp over that window. This way, I don't know if anybody has ever noticed this, but when you're sitting in a vehicle that's all closed up on a rainy, warm summer evening, how muggy and humid it is inside, but yet you open the windows and the rain comes in on you. It cools it off, but the rain comes in on you. <coughs> I've got a tarp right here above me. I've showed you that. That keeps the rain out of my window. That little tarp keeps the rain out of the passenger window and allows the cross draft to keep it from getting too warm in here. Just got to use your head, folks. Just got to think ahead and use your brain, use your skull for something other than a hat rack. That's something my 
father used to say, use your head for something other than hat rack. Well, there you go. You, you have to have the ability to think outside of the box. And since I'm living in a box, I like to think outside of it. <laughs> For the moment, from here at Camp Smithy, out. By the way, don't forget to...